In this video, you will learn how to create violin plots using Plotly library. Let's import Plotly Express as px. Import Plotly dot Express as px. Now I'm going to import one inbuilt data set tips and save it in a variable df. I'll write here df. Then I will write call here px dot data. And in this, we have this tips data set. Let us execute our code. Now to look at the data frame, we will use the method head. I will write here df.head. And here in the output, you can see that we have a data frame here. Now, first we are going to create a basic volume plot and we will be using one variable. Let's say we are going to use this variable total bill. I'll write here figure and then I will call px. And to create volume plots, we need to use the function volin. I will write here volin. And then inside this, the first parameter that we have to pass is our data frame and which is df. Then the next parameter is y. And in y, we have to pass one of the variable. And we are going to pass here total bill. I'll write here total underscore bill. And then let's print it figure dot show. And in the output, you will see a basic volume plot. Here you can see that we have this plot here. And on the y axis, we have this total bill variable. And if I hover over this plot, you can see we are getting the quartiles, the minimum and the maximum. The minimum value is 3.7. This is the quarter one here you can see. Then we have this median here. Then we have this quarter three here. Then we have this upper fence and the maximum values. This is a very basic volume plot which you can create using one variable. I'm going to make one variable figure and then I will call px dot volume. Inside this, I will pass one data frame which is df. On y, we will have the total underscore bill. And then we will have one more parameter box, which is going to be true. And then I'll pass one more parameter points. And this is going to be all. And then I will write here figure dot show. And here you will see in the output, we got a volume plot. And inside this, we have this box plot here. And we got this box plot because of this parameter box is equal to true. If I set this as false, I won't get this box plot here. Let us execute the code. And now here in the output, you will see we don't see that box plot inside this volume plot. So if you want to get a box plot inside this, you have to set this parameter box is equal to true. And here we have this parameter points and it takes the argument all. And we can also put here the other argument, which is going to be outlier. So instead of printing all the points that you see here, it will only plot the outliers. So I'll write here outliers and let us execute our code. And now here in the output, you can see we got a box plot and inside this we are having only those points which are considered to be outliers. So here it will depend on this parameter points. If you make this all, then you will get all the points. And if you make it outliers, then you will see just the outliers. Then we can also draw violin on top of each, uh, each other by using the violin mode parameter. So by default, it is group, but uh, we can also use overlay. So let's see that. I'll make one, uh, one more variable figure here. I'll write here figure, and then I'll write here px dot volume. Inside this, the data frame df. Then here now in y, I'm going to take the variable tip, and let me print the column names here, df dot columns. So in Y, I'm going to take this variable tip that you can see here and then on and then we will take one argument, which is color. 
and let's say we will take one categorical variable so we have this smoker daytime all these are categorical variable let's say we will take the variable time and time has two categories uh, dinner and lunch so i'll take this color is equal to time and here i can show you in time we have two categories dinner and lunch then i'll put a comma here and the next argument is going to be violin mode and here we are going to use the violin mode as overlay and then we will put comma and we will use one last parameter hover underscore data and we are going to hover over all the columns of the data frame df so that is why we will write here df dot columns and then i'll write here figure dot show now in the output you can see that we got a volume plot and this time we have overlay that is one volume plot on top of the other and this is because we have one categorical variable here which is time and time has two categories dinner and lunch and now you can see that the volume plot which is in orange color is representing lunch and the one in blue color is representing dinner and in this we will have all the information here for example we have time then we have tip total bill sex smoker day and size so you can create a volume plot on top of each other whenever you are having a categorical variable then we can also create a volume plot with just point so instead of having this shape of volume we can just have points and for that we will use the method strip i'll write here figure then px dot strip df on x i'm going to take the variable let's say day and on y i'm going to take the variable tip and then i will write here figure dot show and here in the output you can see that now we are not getting the shape of volume here but we are just getting the points here so whenever you want to make you want to create this kind of chart you will have to use this function strip so it is also same but the only difference is that we are not having the volume shape here now there are different algorithms to compute quartiles while creating a volume plot and by default quartiles for volume plots are computed using the linear methods however we can use inclusive and exclusive algorithm to compute quartiles and let's see that i'll write here figure then i'll write here px dot volume inside there i'll pass the parameter data frame name then on y we will have total bill let's enter and i'm going to update this figure i will write here figure dot update underscore traces and here we will pass the quartile method i'll call this parameter quartile method quartile method and this is going to be let's say exclusive and then i will write here figure dot show and here in the output you can see that now we got a volume plot and the quartiles are now computed using the method inclusive so this is computed using this method inclusive and we also have this uh sorry this method is exclusive and we also have the method inclusive so i'll write here inclusive and let us execute the code here and here in the output you can see this is uh computed using the method inclusive and the earlier one was computed using exclusive so this is how you can create volume plots using plotly i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching